My name is Pete Woods, you're watching Hexham TV. Who are you? Um, I'm Rosemary Theobald, um, I live in Hexham, and um, I am partially representing a general view of, of um, building back better in Hexham, and partly representing the Hexham Living Wage Group. Um, uh, uh, Specifically for Hexham Living Wage Group, we're exploring our role um, in the new situation um, as we emerge from um, COVID-19, with many jobs and businesses under threat. The pandemic has highlighted the fact that many of the most essential roles in our society are the most poorly paid. And so when we um, we speak about the real living wage because the government talks about the living wage which we don't consider to actually be a living wage because many people um, who are working are still having to go to um, food banks and so on. So conscious that a return to normal would be a problem for many people we'd like to initiate a conversation about what it could mean to build back better. And so Hexham TV, um, Hexham TV is, um, is, is going to conduct a number of interviews with people who um, have that aspiration. And um, I certainly do. Um, I think one of the the things we've noticed during the pandemic, which is obviously still going on, um, is, is that people have pulled together. You know, by and large, we've kept the rules and we've tried to protect one another. So it's that idea of pulling together that um, I want us to continue um, locally um, in building Hexham back better. Um, I would, uh, I've, I've got sort of two or three things, but one would be m more opportunities for walking and cycling. People have really enjoyed walking during this time. And if we had um, more opportunities um, to be able to cycle, I, I'm, I would hope people would leave their cars behind. And um, um, I would still like to uh, continue the, um, an original cam uh, campaign to have the marketplace as a, as a social, maybe performance area. So, you know, I would be keen to, to get that campaign going again. Um, and also housing, we see, we see developments, uh, pros the old prospect house, developments and the old swimming pool um, but many of us wonder how affordable they will be so the um, community-led housing group are looking at the town centre small developments um, which will be quality but affordable um, so that's one way in which we can keep people who've been brought up here able to stay living in the town. And um, I think finally I'd like to sort of think back a little bit. Um, some years ago we became a fair trade town and I feel that slipped a bit. So I, I would like to relaunch Hexham as a fair trade town, um, which at the time meant that any business selling, um, for instance, coffee or um, other fairly traded project products, um, you know, they would have to do that. The council will ha would have to serve fairly trade coffee in their machines and in their meetings and so on. Um, we also did quite a lot of work for Hexham to become an Alzheimer's friendly town 
And um, I think we shouldn't forget that amount of work that was done and we should work to, to progress it. Um, and so now we, <laughs> this current campaign, which this particular um, group of interviews is um, working on, is, um, is for Hexham to, bec to become a real living wage town. Um, perhaps uh, some of you saw the um, Ken Loach film, Sorry I Missed You, and um, <laughs> you've been getting probably a lot of deliveries online um, uh, recently and have done your best to, to be a friendly face to um, delivery drivers as a result of that, uh, that film. So anyway, Hexham as a real living wage town. Um, we have a Facebook page. We're keen to get people um, responding with their comments on that page. So if you'd like to, to um, visit that page, um, the person who is um, looking after, after the Facebook part of our work would be delighted to um, get your ideas. So thank you very much. And thank you to Peter for <laughs> giving me the opportunity of this interview. Rosemary, thank you very much. And just uh, to mention on the cycling um, issue, I know that through town council meetings and the county council do have some plans, um, you know, to develop um, cycling within the town and, you know, in the future. Um, and uh, we look forward to those coming forward. Excellent. Well, I'll let you know that's, that is that's really, really good news, especially for... Um, aging cyclists like me. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary, it's been lovely to speak to you this morning. Thank you very much for talking to Hexham TV. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>